Lisa Torah. Well, you got to go back. I had started five organizations before Aisha Torah. And I had been working at the problem of assimilation and the uh, intermarriage ever since I, I was a, it, it had bothered me. When I was 30 years old, I figured I have to do something about it. And the first thing I thought of doing is you make an organization. Anybody who's serious about changing the world, whether it's to save the rainforest or the whale or women's lib, or <laughs> you have a cause, you mean it, you make an organization. So I started an organization. Didn't work, I started another one. Didn't work, I started another one. Five. Until I came to the conclusion, I'm not a great leader. I'm an educator. So I figured, I'll make a yeshiva. If I make a yeshiva, I had three purposes in mind. Number one, I saw that what's wrong with the organizations was that people gave up. They didn't think it was really possible to bring back secular Jews or atheistic Jews or Jews who were lost or Jews who were assimilated. They, they, they thought it was a, it was a, no, a non-starter. I figured I have to prove it can be done. I knew it could be done. I have to prove it. I figured the yeshiva is the way to prove it. The second thing, I figured the yeshiva, if I do it, then I'll get a core of my students and that will make an organization. That will start an organization, a core. Third thing, I figured I'd have a laboratory. You know, you've got to work out what works. So by doing the job, you find out what works. I didn't think of the fourth thing. You know what the fourth thing is? People watch you and they say, <laughs> they say, whenever you start something new, people say, you're out of your mind. When you're halfway successful, they say, I knew it all along. You know when you're really successful? They say, I can do it better than you. And you know, all over the world, people are trying to do it better than us. <laughs> That's fantastic. When I started, everybody said, I was out of my mind. Today, it's well known that everybody can do it better than me. Ask what, how do I feel about where we are now? <laughs> I thank the Almighty every morning. I mean, we have, we're reaching 100,000 people a year in our branches in Discovery Seminar. Just H.com has got a million six hundred visitors every month. The audio tapes, I mean, I can only thank the Almighty for all the, 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 the people we're reaching, the Kiddush Hashem, and the fact that we started a bit of a movement. Thank God. I deeply appreciate the gift that he gave us. I, I wanted to do it. I imagined I'd be accomplishing a heck of a lot more than we've accomplished, but I'm breathtaking by the gifts the Almighty gave us until now. And I'm heartbroken by the fact that we're still losing. The fact that the Jewish people is still shrinking terribly. The fact that even in our own circles, we're, we're off, we're off. We're, we're not the Jewish people that I grew up with, that loved each other, that were united, that felt for every Jew. We're not the Jewish people that I grew up with, the Jewish consciousness of the beauty of Torah, the beauty of... We, we, we're growing the Orthodox segment, but we still have an awful lot of inner growth to do. And I undertake to do that too. We're still on our way. Okay, that okay. All right, we've, we've accomplished wonderful things. Where do we go from here? We've only started. We have to get 20,000 50,000 Jews who are committed to Judaism, fellow travelers or Shomer Shabbos who believe in Torah. We've got to get them activated. We've got to get a movement. Every Jew should have a nugget or two that he shares with his fellow, his fellow Jews. We have a new undertaking. It's called JIF. And what it does is it gathers Jewish filmmakers. We have four 
in, in, in uh, LA and Hollywood who are successful and they bring in young aspirants and we say, do a commercial. What a commercial, get a message. A message, what kind of message? The messages that we want to give. And they are supposed to come up with shorts. Now if we can get everybody to just email his friends, his, his email list, these little shorts of, what are you living for? You know, a fellow's walking down the street and he hears a voice, where are you going? Why are you going there? What do you think this is all about? And he gets shook up and he turns on the radio to run away and he hears from the radio, where are you going? What do you think you're doing? What's the meaning of it all? And he goes, <laughs> you get the picture? Now, send it to your friends. We can wake up. We have the genius. We have the manpower. We have the idealism. We have the Torah's powerful messages. What we got to do is put it together, and we can put it together. And we need your support. Me during these. Uh